Primo DMV Wealth Builders, let's get it Uh Yeah Talking about finances, real estate, make a check, reinvest back into the block. Talking brick by brick, get your budget right, build your credit up so you never stop. Yeah, you gotta keep going. I know times get hard and you gotta be smart. But we all tryna win, so we gotta tap in if we tryna go far. Yeah, that's how you build wealth. Yeah, that's how you build wealth in the DMV. Yeah, that's how you build wealth. Yeah, that's how you build wealth in the DMV. Yeah, that's how you build wealth. Yeah, that's how you build wealth in the DMV. Hey guys, my name is John. And I'm Kanisha. And, and welcome, welcome back, back to our channel. channel. So today's guest, we have Miss Neela Walker. She's going to be answering some questions with us today, so stay tuned. Alright, so what's going on, Neela? How you doing? Hi, thank you for having me. I'm Neela. I'm 21. I'm a CNA. And I'm currently on the path to build my wealth. Okay, what's a CNA? A CNA is a certified nursing assistant. Okay, okay. How you like it? I like it so far. I do definitely want to expand, but I like where I am. I'm, I feel accomplished. The certification is challenging, but it's rewarding. For real? What's, a, what's some day-to-day -day challenges you face? Um, right now, I'm still working personally on how I interact with people and my coping skills and how I can help. I feel like I have to be a better empath to relate to my patients, but... I'm managing very well. Okay, okay, that's what's up, that's what's up. All right, so boom, I start off with, well, you already answered the first question. <laughs> tell us about yourself, so we ain't got to go through that one. It's your turn now. So tell us a little bit about your financial journey. Are you on a journey? Um, are you saving, investing? I did go to college once I graduated high school, and then I ended up not going back after my first year due to just financial issues and debt. And that's actually what drove me to get my certification in CNA because my nursing nursing was my major. So mm -hmm. I definitely still wanted to be in that same field. I just had to figure out a different way to do that without messing up my financial situation more than it already was. And, you know, coming back from that. Okay, okay. Man, college can definitely be like, you know, expensive. Um, I wouldn't tell nobody not to go, but I would just say, make sure you pay attention to how much loans you're taking out. You know, so I would yeah. definitely say, if you're getting a refund check, make sure you give it back to them, or pay that towards your your, your debt. You know, you got any tips for, for college students who may um, be going to college soon? So I can definitely relate because nursing was my major too. And I went to college and I didn't get in the nursing program the first year. So I changed my major and I spent a lot of money and I ended up going back to a nursing school and spent some more money. And so that's where most of my debt comes from. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what, what, what was your tips you think? Cause I know we interviewed Jalen last week and I know he's about to go to college soon, right? So what would you, um, if he's watching this, hope you are watching this, but what would, what would be your tips to, to him? We should have brought this up in his video, but what would be your tips to him? Tips to Jalen? Yeah, because he about to go to college, right? Um, Before we take out some debt. I would say definitely save your money and plan ahead because you do not, if you can, try to avoid taking out loans. Mm -hmm. Budgeting is important. Budgeting yeah. is important. It's very important. Okay. So, speaking of budget, do you budget? Yes, I'm still getting better at my budgeting skills, but I'm most definitely... I've always been pretty good with saving money from an early age. Like that wasn't really a hard concept for me to grasp, but I'm still trying to educate myself more on just doing my taxes and right, investing right. correctly, different things like that. That's what's up, that's what's up. So we, we heard, man, you brought a car cash. Man, tell us about that. Tell us about that. <laughs> um, I definitely, it took me some time to save up. I was saving from my first job. I ended up having two other jobs after that, but I most definitely had to save up budgeting, just being able to do it on a consistent basis, separating my wants from my needs. Mm, that's a big one. Yeah, and just prioritizing where my money was supposed to go and not doing any impulsive spending or you know keeping my habits together. Okay, so what you... 
So what made you say, okay, you know what, man, I don't want to pay, you know, I don't want to take out a loan for a car. I'm going to pay cash for this car. What made you, I guess, do that? Personally, I just felt like I'm the type of person I'm not going to want to pay a note every month. I didn't feel like that was going to help me move on. I wanted to just have it. I didn't want to have any extra expenses once I physically got the car. Mm -hmm. So I definitely just wanted to focus on only worrying about insurance and any repairs that needed to be made to the car. I didn't want to have to worry about, oh, yeah, and I have to pay my note next month. Okay. What kind of car you got, by the way? A Nissan Altima. That's what's up. That's nice what's choice. up. Nice <laughs> choice. That's what's up. That's what's up. Are you planning on going back to school? I do want to continue my education. I don't know if school is going to be the way yet. <laughs> all right. Okay. Okay. I do definitely want to further my education. I just don't know when. I can't put a date on it just yet, but I do know that I want to further my education. You should. You should, man. Education is key. I heard something the other day. Um, it says that it's kind of going off topic a little bit, but it said that education can make you a, a living, but self-education will make you a fortune. Let That's that sink one. in. That's a good one. You know, I heard that. So continue to educate yourself, but make sure you self-educate yourself as well by picking up a different book every now and again and just digging in a book and reading it. Because you never know like what's in this book and what you can learn and how you can apply that to your life, you know? Um, so let's move on to the next question. What we got? Um, so what do you think is the biggest difference between the wealthy and the poor? Definitely mentality. Um, I feel like in the age we live in, a lot of wealthy people are born into that wealth as well. And that's obviously different from having to start and build your wealth from the ground up. Of course, that's gonna take a little bit more time but it's all achievable at the end of the day. Mm. So I, I like what you said too, I agree. It's all mental, it's all in your head, right? Um, yeah, so you all you gotta constantly tell yourself you're gonna be wealthy, right? Um, but going back to the questions, what does wealthy mean to you? I don't know, we talked about that one yet. I feel like wealth is the way you set yourself up financially, just to be able to live on after you're long gone, the way you continue to accumulate and generate and make sure that your children's children's children are straight and so on. Okay, that's a good answer. That's a good answer. Um, I listened to a lot of Les Brown and one of his things that I remember him say was uh, he want like you should be able to create a life that's gonna outlive you. So yeah. That's kind of what you was talking yeah, about, you know, generational wealth. Right? You said Les Brown? Yeah. Les Brown. Check him out. Check him out, okay. man. He's a great motivational speaker. Awesome dude. Um, I learned a lot from him. Like, I try to listen to him at least three times a week. Um, Kenesha will probably tell you I'm in the shower listening to him. Like, <laughs> it's weird. But um, but that's good. Um, so, a lot, a lot of people, right, First of all, answer this question. What does living paycheck to paycheck means to you? Not really having the financial freedom to take care of your extra needs. Everybody needs to take care of themselves as well, or you're going to experience that burnout. You're not going to be able to continue making your paychecks. Mm -hmm. You have to, you know, it's barely getting by. And I can imagine, oh well, yeah, I can imagine it's frustrating. It's frustrating. But it's just not being able to save. Um, I feel like when you don't have the right education on financial wellness, you're going to end up living paycheck to paycheck. Mm, okay, okay. So now that you describe to us what it means, describe to us how to not live paycheck to paycheck. Definitely educating yourself on saving money, mm -hmm. learning how to budget, learning what works for you financially, because at the end of the day, our, everybody's circumstances are not the same. Right, right. But right. definitely learning how to budget, learning how to save your money the right way, learning when to um, hold off on things, hold off on things that you might be wanting, you know, that pair of shoes or whatever, what right. have you. And noticing, like you said earlier, your wants versus your needs, right? 
Yes. And you, you pointed that out earlier. It's definitely good to plan, write things down. Good, good. Definitely good. Got any other questions? Um, do you think it's better to save or invest or both? Mm. I would say both. Investing can help you to do better with your saving. If you're investing your money in the right places, that money is bound to come back to you. It could be tenfold, even if it's two and threefold, as long as you know you are putting your money in the right places and you know how to move your money around in a smart way. Okay. Opportunities are endless. Are you currently investing right now? I am working on that, actually. Okay. I'm working yeah. on that. There you go, there you go. I'm going to be honest, I'm working on that. I have been thinking of some master plans, but okay. um, I'm working on that. Definitely want to invest more. Right. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. You got any more questions? No. Well, Niela, man, I want to say, first of all, man, thank you for, you know, accepting this, this offer of the interview. We really appreciate thank you. you. Thank you. We really you appreciate you. Um, we'd love to have you on again anytime. Of course. Um, just let Definitely. us know when you're ready. And um, guys, again, thank you so much um, for for joining us again with this awesome interview with Niela. Um, thank you for having me. <laughs> no problem, no problem. And where, where can they find you if you want people to know your Instagram? Um, my Instagram is at lookits underscore knee with two eyes, N I I. <laughs> okay. Um, you can definitely check me out on Instagram. I'm gonna be posting some things on there soon. I might step into the YouTube scene soon as well. Ooh, okay, Stay tuned okay. For that. Yeah, maybe have us on your channel or something. Of course. Okay, Definitely. let's do we it. We can do that. Let's do we it. We can do that. Let's do it. Um, but again, all right, so guys, man, thank you for everything. Continue to like, comment. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And we we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. DMV Wealth Builders.